950 trees in this block and these boys only been sawing about an hour and they almost got it done. I think they're coming down the last rows. Uh, sounds like a bunch of bumblebees out there. The thing is, on these particular trees, they're only making one cut. We're just going to graft that central leader. And then they can open it back up. They can take it up as a central leader as those are over there. Or they can make an open center tree. However, they need to grow this cherry that we're putting on. Yeah, different characteristics require different uh, training system, different soil types, different rootstock, a lot of variables involved. Different spacing. Depends uh, if you're close spacing, a lot of times you'll grow a central leader. Anyway, these guys are <laughs> flat knocking them down. Not, uh, no grass growing under them out there. Three Husqvarna's going full out. I like it. Knock them down, Victor. Got two guys named Jorge, Victor's son, and then another guy that worked for me last year. So I call him uh, Jorge Washington and Jorge Bush. We do have a little town down here called George, George Washington. All right, well, maybe I'll take you across the street and show you a little apple job that we did last. Not last year, three, three years ago. I don't know. I've been doing this so long, I can't keep track of what we did when. Three, four years ago. Time gets away, you know, maybe it was four years ago. Uh, nevertheless, there were some really old, old apple trees, older than, than I really like to deal with, but, the take was pretty good on them. Um, when cherry trees get old, they just won't hardly graft at all. And stone fruit doesn't like to graft when it gets old. But look at these old apples, boy. Those old dogs, we hung them on there and they're, they're doing just fine. They had, uh, well, they had probably four primary scaffolds, four liters on the bottom and we cut those off. and. Uh, the limbs were a little low anyway and grafted on that central and uh, there again that uh, apical dominance comes into play all the energy goes up this that central part of the tree uh, heads for the top and so that's what we grafted where they would get the most energy the most nutrients and they did real well we cut everything else off and uh, the limbs were a little bit low. You can see where they were cut off there, and there's a low limb there. Uh, so sometimes with grafting, you know, if they're not trained exactly the way you like, you have a chance to to do them. You get a do-over. <laughs> you can do them again. You'll see some grafts missing, like on that one there. But it's not that they didn't take. It's just that they cut them back. Uh, they continue to heal in on the stump. And they just cut them back because they don't need all those limbs. And they're getting the way. Those are pretty tight there. I think I would, I would have spread those a little bit more. But man, well, that's a new training, different training system, not new, but it's called a, it's called a steep leader. Anyway, enough about that. Enough about this grafting stuff. When my son was five years old. I came home from work one day and course 25 26 well what's he gonna be 27 he's gonna be 27 or 28 <laughs> it was a long time ago and, uh, I came home from work and of course I was talking about the jobs whatever we were doing and he finally told me he says you know dad I just I really I don't want to hear any more about this grafting thing so well, we got that uh, we got that taken care of But he asked me about it now, occasionally. <laughs> about how, just how it's going. <laughs> Not that he wants to do it, and <laughs> I don't want him to do it. 
anyway. All right, see ya.